Welcome to the Encounters Podcast, brought to you by Mercy Culture Worship. My name is Jasmine Wheeler, and I'm so glad you're here and ready to encounter God with us. Our vision is to take people from corporate encounters with God to daily personal encounters with God. So we're inviting you into our corporate encounter, hoping that it leads you deeper into your daily personal encounter. So we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. We don't make room for you in our car, in our room, wherever it is that we are right now. We don't make room for you. We give you the entire room. So speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. This morning, we're going to praise the Lord together. And I just want to warn y'all, I'm kind of losing my voice. So I need you guys to sing for me. Does that make sense? I want to be able to hear you guys. <laughs> Thank God we're not here for a performance. We're here for God's presence. So everyone just lift your hands and start inviting the Lord. Oh, Jesus, we invite you. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Oh, Jesus, we're here to bless your name. We're here to bless your name, Jesus. I'm here to bless your name, Holy Spirit. I bless my Father in my Father's house this morning. We invite you and we bless you, Lord. We invite you and we bless you, Lord. We invite you and we bless you, Lord. Oh, come on, tell him you're going to bless his name. Tell him you're going to bless his name. Oh, I bless your name, Jesus. I bless your name, Jesus. I bless your name, Jesus. Come on, bless him.
of the blood of Jesus that's filling this room. There's a revelation of the power of the blood that's filling this room. There's a revelation of the deliverance of Jesus' blood that's filling this room. And I can't help but thank him. Oh, I can't help but thank him. Oh, so thank you for your body. Thank you for your blood And thank you, Jesus, now we have Oh, thank you, Jesus Thank you for your body And thank you for your blood And thank you, Jesus, now we have communion Thank you, Jesus Thank you, Jesus Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
I've got a joy that the world cannot give. I've got a joy that the world cannot take. I've got a reason to sing, a reason to sing. I've got a reason to sing. I've got a joy that the world did not give. I've got a joy that the world cannot take. I've got a reason to sing, a reason to sing. I've got a reason to sing. I've got a joy that the world did not give. I've got a joy that the world cannot take. I've got a reason to sing, a reason to sing. I've got a reason to sing. I've got a joy that the world did not give. I've got a joy that the world did not take. I've got a reason to sing. Come on, let's sing. I've got a reason to dance. Come on. I've got a reason to dance. I've got a joy that the world did not give. I've got a joy that the world did not take. I've got a reason to dance. Reason to dance. Salvation is gone.
king of salvation is in the room. King Jesus, the one who died and saved all, he's in the room. We're going to prepare to take communion. If you can get your elements ready, if you need some communion elements, go ahead and lift your hand. We'll have our usher team around passing it to you. John chapter 6, around verse 53, it, Jesus is saying that my body and my blood, they are the access to the Father. And it talks about how eternal life is found in the one who consumes his body and his blood. If you can prepare to take the cracker, the bread representing his body. If you can break it in your fingers the same way Jesus broke his body for you. The same way that when his body broke for you, depression broke and deliverance came in. Anxiety broke. Peace came in. Upon the breaking of Jesus' body, everything of the demonic realm is broken for you. So we declare deliverance as you consume. Receive his body. Receive the juice representing the blood of Jesus lifted above your heads, making it known to all people and in this atmosphere and to the city that Jesus is the highest authority. So we declare when all things have been lifted up, we lift you up, Jesus. We declare you're the highest authority over our minds, the highest authority over our bodies, the highest authority over our children, the highest authority over our families, the highest authority over our church. You're the highest authority over our school district. You're the highest authority over our local officials. You're the highest authority over our state capitol building. You're the highest authority over Fort Worth, over Texas, over Austin, over Waco. You're the highest authority over America. We plead the blood of Jesus over America. With your own words, say, I plead the blood of Jesus over America. Just prophesy, say America. Receive the blood. Receive his body. Receive Jesus. Go and take the blood. Yelling so much, my glass is about to fall off. Man, his presence is sweet. In the same way we engage with Jesus in worship, and adoration, expression, singing and dancing. The same way we get to receive from Jesus in his word, that when his word is delivered, you're getting fed eternal life, the bread, the daily bread. Thanks for worshiping with us today. If you want to encounter God with us again next week, be sure to hit the subscribe button in the channel to stay in the know. Let's pray the benediction together. Lord, teach us your ways that we may know you and find your favor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.